make it a good score in math, and so I'm here watching your video. Oh, okay, just kidding. <laughs> hey, I can only hope that you're here because, hey, you care about learning. And you know what? I'll do my very best to bring you a great lesson today. Today's lesson, it's lesson 1.7. This is, of course, in the Go Math. Yeah, Go Math, go. And you know what? Look at our topic. Our topic today is subtract whole numbers. Woo, you mean like 8 minus 3? 8 is a whole number. 3 is a whole number. 8 minus 3, 5? No, sorry. We're in fourth grade. The problems are going to probably be a little bit more challenging than that. However, our sense of question is going to let us know what our purpose and what we're going to learn today. And it is, well, how can you subtract whole numbers? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Pretty much the same as the topic. So, let's make sure that we do what we always need to do, which is unlock the problem. That's right, my friends, because it's real world, baby. Real world. Real world. Yes, it says here Mount Bear and Mount Bona are two mountains in Alaska. Mount Bear, it says, is 14,831 feet tall. And Mount Bona is 16,421 feet tall. How much taller is Mount Bona than Mount Bear? And it says here that we're going to estimate first. Well, look, they took the number 16,421, just said, ah, it's about 16,000. And then 14,831 was practically 15,000. So they said, let's do a quick estimate. I'm sure that we can solve that. Let's do that. 1,000. Woo, there we go. Now it says we're going to subtract 16,421. Of course, minus 14,831. Oh, by the way, ooh, let's look at this picture real quick. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Great picture. Okay, step one is to subtract the ones. Regroup to subtract the tens. Okay, so just like any other problem, even if this was like a three-digit number, we would be doing the same thing. We would always start with the ones. That's where we start. And one minus one, yeah, I believe that's zero. Yep, that's an easy one. And then the next one, we have a problem. Look at that. We want to subtract three tens from two tens. Well, we can't take three tens from two tens. So we have to regroup. And we do this by renaming the two. So rather than calling the two two tens, okay, we're going to go next door. We're going to borrow 100. That's right. You see where that 4 is? Yeah, it goes to a 3 because it's actually going to take 100. That 400, now it's going to be 300. And that 300, though, he can't give 100s into the tens place. That's not so cool. He's going to give him 10 tens. And that 10 tens plus the 2 tens he already has, now he has 12. So now 12 minus 3, of course, is going to be 9. And I guess that's where we stop because I don't see any more blue shaded boxes. Ah, four hundreds, two tens is equal to three hundreds, and then how many more tens? Twelve tens, right? We need another ten tens with a four hundred plus the two, so it would be twelve tens. I do believe that is correct. Now, step two says that we're going to regroup to subtract the hundreds. Okay, because, yeah, we're trying to take eight hundreds from four hundreds. Again, the 400s is, is, is needing some help. He's going to go next door to the thousands. He's going to give 1,000 to him. But remember, 1,000 is equal to 10 hundreds. So that's how he's going to give it to him. He's going to give him that one you see up there. He already had 400s. So now he has 14 hundreds. But he's going to subtract 100 away because he's going to be subtracting this one, so that's why I moved to 13. 13 minus 5 is, I'm sorry, 13, I said the answer. 13 minus 8 is 5. So 6,300 is equal to 5,013 hundreds. Okay, yeah, I know this gets kind of confusing, you know, in your head. You just got to keep going back and trying to think what, the groups are equal to, like 1,000 is equal to 10 hundreds, and 100 is equal to 10 tens, and just keeping that all straight in your head. It's not the easiest thing. And yes, I did see you again, white arrow. What is that calling you? You are the white arrow. Anyway, step three says subtract the thousands. Woo, right. Five minus four equals one. <laughs> okay, so now it says, so Mount Bona is 1,000. 590 feet taller than Mount Bear since blank. That must be our original 1,000. Is close to the... Ooh, make that a, scratch that. 
since 1590 is close to the estimate of 1000 the answer is reasonable all right there you go use addition to check your answer okay this is what i would do if i was taking a test and i was in fourth grade and i'm like and i wanted a really high score this is what i would be doing see over here let's look at this this is math idea inverse operations undo each other addition and subtraction are we call them inverse operations. So you can use addition to check a subtraction problem. So we're going to subtract. So let's just check. Oh, this is the one that we just did. Okay, so let's check our answer. Now we're adding, which is a lot of fun. It usually goes much faster. We have 12. Carry the one. I see it. That's 13. That's 14. Carry the one. And there they put the one up there. That's five. So that's six. And then that's one. So I end up with one. Th I'm sorry, 16,421. And if you go back, 16,421, you can see it matches up. Yes. So you can see it says, oh, the answer checks. Cool. Now we come to share and show. Okay, cool. This is where you get the math board. Math board time. Subtract. Use the grid to record the problem. Okay, so I'm going to write here 637,350 minus, ooh, got to be careful, 43. I've got to line up all my digits, 832. Because you can see the one being uh, subtracted here is it's, they don't have the same they they don't have the same number of digits. Now I'm going to go ahead and subtract. Now you can't take two from zero. There are no ones here, and there's two here, so that's a problem. So he's going to go next door and say, "Please, can you give me a ten? Sure, I'll give you one." He gives him the one ten. He didn't have any to begin with, so now he has ten. All right now we can subtract ten minus two equals eight, and now. Here, we can just subtract because that's not a problem. Four minus three, yeah, it's one. But look, we come into the hundreds place, and yes, eight and three. Ooh, eight hundreds from 300, you can't do that. What a lot of students will do sometimes is they'll do the reverse. It kind of cracks me up, okay? Just as a teacher, <laughs> it's kind of funny. But they say, hmm, I can't do three minus eight. Why don't I just do eight minus three? Uh-uh. No, you don't want to do that. No. That's illegal. So, I'm going to have to go next door. I'm going to borrow a thousand. Give me a whole thousand, would you? Sure. But I'm going to make sure I give that as you to ten hundreds. You already have three hundreds, so now you have thirteen hundreds. You had three, I gave you ten, but you're you're having to subtract, and that is five. Now you can take six minus three, which is three. Then here you have the same issue here. You need to borrow five, give him one, and the one means that he's giving him actually ten ten thousands, right? Because you're going to the ten thousands place. You had a hundred thousand, so now we're going to give him ten ten thousand. Now we have thirteen minus four, which is nine, and that would be ninety two thousand five hundred eighteen. Now it doesn't say to how do you know? Okay, so it doesn't say to check your work, but let's do that. Okay, ninety three thousand five hundred eighteen. I'm going to add that with forty three thousand eight hundred thirty two, and I get ten. Carry the one. That's four. That's five. Here I have thirteen. Carry the one. That's six, and that makes seven, and that's 13. Oh, no, what happened? Oh, did I forget to put my little five down here? I sure did. Woo, I'm about to say that number's not even close. Okay, okay there's a way I can still do this and check my work. Here is the five up here. Uh-huh, okay, 13, carry the one, and then that's six. There you go. Ah, Mr. War caught his own mistake. Oh, my goodness, am I sure glad? Does that match up? It does. But there you go. I caught my mistake. Okay, this is the last little section. It says estimate, then find the difference. Estimate. Okay. So if we were to estimate here, what I'm going to see, what I see here, I see about 15,000. Let's call that 12,000. So 15 minus 12, 3,000. So my estimate is going to be 3,000. Let's see if I'm close. Now 9 minus 4 is 5. Always start with the ones first. Ooh, 5 minus 8, can't do it. But you know what? I can see if he can give me 1. Now I have 15 minus 8, which is 7. And 5 minus 5, which is 0. Put in my thousands little period. It's called a comma. But then I have 3. Then I have a 3,075. That looks pretty close. I like it. Estimate, 456,912. Eh, let's just call that, I don't know. I would just call that 450. 450 minus 40. 450 minus 40 is like 410,000. Now, I may have not estimated the way they might want you to. They might want you to say that's 500,000, but I'm going with that one. I like it. Now, I'm going to subtract 2, 1, 1. Ooh, nice. Oop, need to regroup. 
16 minus 7 is 9, I do believe. And then 4 minus 3 equals 1. And then we get 4. You can see 419,000. Whoo, that's so close. I like it. 400,000. Mm, let's go 200,000. That makes it really easy. So my estimate is my answer should be right around 200,000. Okay. Ooh, look at all this regrouping going on. Ugh. Okay. So this is what I do when this happens because sometimes it's very easy to make a mistake as you regroup. You start with the ones. He goes next door. If he can't help him out, you shouldn't be doing any marking on him yet because he can't do anything. So he's going to turn to the next guy. He can't help out. So you keep going to the next guy. The first guy that's actually able to help out is this one. So we're going to take that 1,000 he's going to loan and he's going to share that loan. First, you're going to make that 10 hundreds. Okay, so now he has 10 hundreds because that's the same as 1,000. But he needs help too, so why don't we just give it to him now? So that 10 hundreds now is only going to be 900, so that turns to a 9, but that will give him at least 10 tens, which is 100 that he just loaned him. <laughs> I know, this is like turn twister, but he still needs one, so he's going to take one of his tens away, make that a 9, and then give one of those 10 tens to him, which is the same as 10 ones, so he has 11 ones. Now we can go on. This way you don't make that mistake up here, even though that looks really sloppy. <laughs> 11 minus 2 is 9. But 9 minus 5 is 4. 9 minus 6 is 3. And this was 6 minus 4, which is 2. Ah, we need to regroup again. So we're going to take one first, then loan it. Some people do it the opposite way. You can get yourself into trouble if you do that. So 10 minus 8 is 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. Well, it's pretty close. Okay. 222,000, I gotta like it. Okay, now I could go back. Now, if I was taking a test, I'll be honest with you. The estimate's great, but I'd go back and actually add these two numbers together to make sure I get back to where where I started from. It's just a great way to make sure you get 100%. Now, it says on your own, on your own, estimate, then find the difference. So if I'm gonna estimate, I'm gonna call him, I'm gonna say that's 950 and that's 450. That way I put the 50s, kind of cancel them out, and that's going to be 500,000. Now, that's maybe not the way that they might have you estimate. That's the way I would do that because I see the 50s. It's, it's the middle of ground. It makes it easier to do it in your head. If you're estimating and you have to write it down, eh, you're really not estimating anymore. All right, let's see what happens. 5 minus 3 is 2. 8 minus 0 is 8. 3 minus 8 we cannot do, so we need to get some help, and he's there to help his neighbor. 13 minus 8 is 5. 1 minus 1 is 0. Now here we need to regroup again because 4 minus 6 we cannot do. He's going to loan that group of 10. And now we have 8 because 8 plus 6 is 14. And then 8 minus 4 is 4. Not forgetting that last number like I did up above. 480,000? Yeah, that's super close to 500. I'd say I'm, I'm on track. This definitely looks like 800,000 to me. And then this one looks like 350. So if I had 800 minus 300, that would be 500. But I'm going to take off another 50, so that's going to be 450,000. So that's also something I just do in my head. 800,000. And, and if you can just do the 350, great. But if you just take off the 300,000, know that you're going to have to take off another 50. That's how I would have done that. Let's see how we do. Ooh, a lot of regrouping. Okay, remember? Neighbor, 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 neighbor. Now these people can help. This person can't help either. He can only deal with him. So this is our first one, nine. And that's going to turn into an eight. So he's in a 10,000th place. So he's really loaning one 10,000. He's going to regroup that into, yeah, 10,000 so that he can deal with that. And so that's going to give him this. He's going to loan one. So the 18 turns into 17, but it allows him to give him one. Ah, but now he's going to loan one. So he's going to turn 13 to 12 and then give one to him. And then he, neighbor, needs one of these nine. See, if you do it this way, chances are you won't make a mistake. Now, 10 minus, bleh, bleh, 10 minus 9 is 1. 9 minus 5 is 4. 12 minus 6 is 6. Got to be careful here. 17 minus 8 is 9. And then 8 minus 4 is 4. And 7 minus 3 is 4. 449,000. Look how close that is. Super close. I have to assume I did that problem right. Now, I'm not taking my time. I'm not doing this by myself. You know, if I was by myself, you know, obviously I wouldn't be talking. I could really focus on what I'm doing. So it's very possible that I made a mistake. But when I get a number that's that's close to my estimate, I got to think that I'm probably correct. Okay. Now here we have 300,000. Here I'm going to say 150. All right. Because that's easy. This 150 is half of 300,000. 
So that's really easy. I just think of that as 150,000. Rounding it to make it work for me. The, the idea of estimating is to make it easy. Don't make it hard on yourself. There's nothing wrong with saying that this is 200,000 and putting 100,000. I'm just doing it as, so that I'm a little bit more accurate. It'll be even closer. Zero, eight, nine. And then look at regroup, regroup, regroup. So we have to come all the way over here because no one here can help. We'll change that to a two, we'll carry that 110 over. That's going to turn to a nine. And then that's a 10. 10 minus nine is one. Nine minus five is four. Two minus one is one. And again, look at that. I have to believe that those answers are correct. But hey, if I missed a question, if I did something wrong, hey, let me know. Be the first to comment. Okay. But again, advice to you. If you are taking a test and the end of this chapter one test it would be coming up because I think this was, what was this, 1.7 or something like that. You want to make sure that you get the best score that you can. And the way that you do that is you check your work. Okay. Hey, I know, I know the music's playing away. Love that bumper music. It's time to say hasta la vista, my friends. Hey, it's been great having you here. Thank you for coming along and taking advantage of these videos that I'm putting up. Please feel free to leave a question or comment. Now, live long and prosper.